I stream daily, almost daily on twitch.tv slash canister underscore mtg, so be sure to visit that if you would like to catch some of my live content. I keep. I think Lead on Saga. For general strength. Basic Swamp. I'll play another Saga. To double amulet him all over. Mono Black. Coffers. Two Swamps probably. What's that? Shadow of Shroud, so they spear Dalai, kurva. Typical hatred. Just kills my land and draws a card? Come on. Shadow of Doubt. Expecting a feel of ruin then immediately. Instead I see Fotsies. Taking the park, playing a swamp. Okay. Get amulet. And I have a Zuva Saga. A Mega Construct. And you show me what you're made of. I push. Alright. Hello, Mr. Simmer. How are you today? I'm pretty good, Olsen. Thanks for asking. It's playing the one ring, so we st we strike now. Drawing a titan. I said a titan. So she was thrown the deck. Doesn't matter, if I draw a titan I'll be good. Puka and Stefan have been getting along pretty well from the get-go. Stofulek who does wars on that front. But Buka has always been less willing to sit with me in my room, so... No surprises here. No Stefan reveal yet, but soon. Does Stefan like Blood Moon? Holy shit. Bro has ring protection, but doesn't want to wait. That's actually very convenient. But nice shadow of doubt. Yeah, I doubt. How is Elish known against mono black? Counter's ring, I guess. Yeah, she kind of dies to removal. Random coffers list. Yeah, election and track task. I was thinking of including a Carney Garden so that I could go Primal Titan for with Elish on the battlefield, Primal Titan for Fountain and Carney. Get two plants for life and then two Vesuvas to copy both. It's not like Elish is super trivial to kill. Trades badly with shoulders, I didn't can die to a march for no value. 
What if I actually have two grades for this is shadowed out? Might be some small usefulness. Wow. One grade to Elish. Let's see. Like Elish is a threat. Greed is kinda kinda bad. I laughed at a viewer who suggested boarding in greed against coffers because of Shadow of Doubt the last time, so I can only afford to play one. Not playing 61 post board, convinced. I guess drawing forest less often is actually a boon. And Elish is actually hard to cast through Field of Ruin, so let's cut her. O fulek, no, bestia, ty moja kochana, jaki ty jesteś przyjazny, wiesz? Naprawdę niesamowicie. To make constructs. Or play Dryad, I guess. Probably gonna play Dryad. That sounds better. Profane Tutor. Yeah, I mean, I'll play Dryad Valakut. Why Why not? Should I play Dryad Valakut? Because Valakut is stopped. I probably should. And if Villain plays... Field of Ruin and waits for my bounce land, then I'm get Titan into play with Falaku triggers anyway, so we'll need to have a removal spell for the Dryad too. Can also get Shadow of Doubt at Demolition Field. Could also fire it on the Uza Saga immediately. Rain of Tears, holy f guacamole. Hmm. Hmm. All right, buddy. You get to the Reign of Tears. You get to do Profane Tutor. It's gonna be Reign of Tears once again to destroy my Bonds land. Could be. These rains cannot quench. They carve the land's face like a scalpel on flesh, says Krovax. Yeah. Krovax. Well put, Krovax. Well, they go around the intoxicating innocence. Come on, just play the one ring. No, you want to, Gab. Necromancia, I don't care, I'll get the zombie and be cap down with it. Yeah, it's Bobsy the dog. A famous streamer of the card game Magic the Gatherings. Seems like a tough decision. His deck contains Reign of Tears and there is no only imagination prevents us from making up another card that he could find and summon here. Oh, uh -huh. he has found something. What now? Swamp into the onion ring. Holy shit, he actually did that. It's only really problematic if he goes what? Hmm. Like, play the Sweeper, that's... Exile Titans. Do I want to get two Bounce Lands? To make Mr. Beast the best? Valakut, I only have one Valakut hit, so if I don't want to get Valakut hit, then... I need Vezuva to copy it right now. But it doesn't strike me as super important. <clears throat>
I'll hide Valak with my hand. And make us in guidance, I want to have quad blue. Attack with the Dryad for the Lules, a pass. I guess he like cannot even cast a sweeper that exiles my titans because he doesn't have collect evidence 6. So he can just go like damnation. It's the best he can do. Yeah, I don't know. It seems kind of weird to search his deck and then like play the one ring here. I think a Brain of Tears would have been much better. Although I did draw the one ring in my Josep, so I would have the perfect response to that too, so. Probably was fine for me either way. If I played a land on the previous turn, I could have like haste a Titan next turn if a Titan attacks. That was value in redeploying the Valakut for that purpose. Even if it's scary that he cuts off the angle of Valakut entirely. I'm playing Slayer Stronghold today because I'm playing an Elish Nord, so I can't do that without having played the land. That would have been would have been true with with Hanwer though. That is true. But I have one Valakut, double Vesuva, Slayer Stronghold, Mirror Pool today. So what's that gonna be? Forces into Domination? Do these wildlands require Slayer Stronghold? If you play Slayer Stronghold, you play an extra white source, so it just makes sense to, to do that, I found. Alright, I'll start by going to combat. See if he acts now. 3 mana, 4 mana. What's that, March on Titan? But yeah, if you play Slash Jungle, you have Garizion in your deck, which is a white source for Elishnor and just kind of incentives seem to line up. Holy guacamole. Alright, let's see if Elish Norn does anything. Gonna gain two protections. He exiled a Doffy Voidwalker, break the ice, and a profane tutor, or a combination of cards. So this triggers twice. And play another land, it also shoots face twice. Always yes to Bob the dog. And now we gain double protection. Two protections. And a Titan for the next turn, that's a good one. He loses two and has to deal with my board. Now, Elishnorn would have been a pact. I don't have any more Valakus in my deck. Let's go Crumbling Vestige and Slayer Snea Sanctuary. This way I get to make mana. So let's make red and white. Now to pick up two lands, we pick up Bolas, Poseju and Crumbling Vestige. And now I'll discard Bosedju to hit Demolition Field for oh, one green mana because of Elish Norns I'm overtapped. Which means that he cannot destroy my Slayer Stronghold before the second trigger fetches it. So yeah, he kills my Silas Semi Grove Chamber, which I adore, but 
also can live without. <clears throat> this fizzles. Titan grabs a stronghold and a bounce land. I bounce stronghold and I bounce forest. I cast explore. I cast more explore. I play double trigger Lush Portico. Or do I? He concedes before I get to play my double trigger Lush Portico. Rough. Very masterfully played. Thanks. I think it was a nice line. Not really like, super hard to notice, but nice line enabled by Eleshnorn, kind of. If I had a second Valakut in my deck, it also would work because I would get a Valakut number two. And well, yeah, that would feel ruined, so actually, I don't know. If it would have worked as well. Probably would have been fine, but. I'll go Terra 1 Saga. Turn 2 Crabbling Vestige. I don't know. Die. Do, do. The Upper Fools connections was neat, which they tried out once in a while. Yeah, I didn't read, didn't check that out, so. Unfortunately, I don't know. I think I'll play Gardens. Bouncing the Saga seems not viable. So, if he wants to tap out for a Narset, he can 3D. I'm gonna just play into a counter spell. Meticulous Archive. That's a crazy play. Mr. Beast. Will I do an Outlaw set review? Maybe. When is it releasing? When is the pre-release? One more now. No land drops. He's a phenomenal control player. Ah, same with contracts a bit. We good to draw a dryad or something. Maybe he's gonna miss more land drops. 
Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Just passing for now, if he's passing with mana up too. Now at 6 mana he's gonna be in the range of being annoying. Probably gonna have like oh pitch one no oh, kind of spell one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve it's got more than twelve I mean, second kind of spell check, then strike with contract. Sounds good. Can I bounce Saga back to my hand? Is it possible? No, it's not. Play Titan. Counter spells. And I make and then of turn construct 13 and then it's gonna be not lethal, but pretty big. Terrafera. Bouncy construct key. Well, I like this matchup. I thought it's pretty bad, but like as I keep playing it, I feel like I lose less often. But my initial feeling was that it's pretty bad. I think no one doesn't help much, in all honesty. Like, she doesn't help against counter spell at all, right, really. She doesn't really clock. Doesn't really do anything. Maybe yeah, I'll plus edge the Minamo. Should have done that earlier, but this might be useful for him. <clears throat> but yeah, all of the counter magic slightly problematic. Yeah, 
a strong fall wall front pumping random dudes a good strategy in this matchup mm. well it's not really like like constructs are the best strategy in the matchup constructs are like the actual way you end up winning Pitch is Supreme Verdict. That's very pretentious. But also, it means I'm dead. Because... He couldn't pitch without a second Verdict, because... Like, Verdict is... A better way to... Solve this Titan than... Not doing that, but... Well, maybe he would have mis misevaluate or something. I don't know. Yeah, also greed. Greed is, of course, like the best. Greed and Saga. It's quite two tops, so. That seems like death. Well, let's keep on playing. Why not? Well, of course, he draws four cards now with the ring, so... It's not quite likely. Wow, that was extremely pretentious. Now I can't even haste my Titan. Copy hall. Six life. Cringe set. Reveals force of negation. Okay. Gaia Rich Cringe Tarium. Okay. Hey, what now? I'll make a construct. Rude. Cryptic command tap all. That's not a thing anymore. <sighs> I have to kill a soul dude. Goes to nine, but then goes to five. Might just flash another soul dude for life gain EOT. Okay. He has five life and the one ring on five life. If he skips his turn, then he's just gonna die. Can win if I drop a Seju, maybe? 
No, well, oh, he has another ink. I was thinking he's gonna like draw step. No, I can't win with Mosejo either in that way. Dobra. Spierdala już tam, nie graj mi jakieś gówna w ankipie, bo. Win by the king. Jenrek stack is a. Deck with. Um. Days and doing, so it's not possible to deck him. It does actually con contain a an actual infinite loop, which is not really MTGO feasible, but exists. The loop would be to <clears throat> have Narset and Teferi, and then Days Undoing you in your own, like first activate Gaia Reach and then Days Undoing you. Or like the other way around, that way you villain never draws cards. If I play turn three dryad, then I probably die. Maybe I can keep this. But then yeah. Probably shouldn't. Like if this resolves then this can be fine. Well let's keep it for science, it's probably bad. This can be a white source for Elash. Or this. You know, he only has four counter spells in his deck. Saga is a good draw. Of course, Yendrik being Yendrik always feels like he has 10,000 counter spells in his deck instead because you won't catch him without holding up one on turn two. He's quite top with Preorden, so assuredly Preorden found it. Dress down for my saga. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Let's copy the saga then. Gonna make an end of turn construct. Likely I'll get hit by days and doing and then I'll die, but that doesn't happen, it's not gonna be easy either. I mistaked. This matchup is miserable. No, it's fine. It's just like, it's just a bit bad, but what is miserable is how pretentious control is. But in terms of winnability, I will just say it's a tiny bit bad. how it works. Let's stop. For the amulet only has good matchups, question mark. Yeah. This is a bottom.
the onion ring. Dobra, no. Wygrałeś gnoju. I'll be back in a few minutes. Plus index six days ago, Gorayo's Vengeance. Mm -hmm. Curious. Stinky bounce land, but also vestige. Feel like I should keep. Play saga. Nice mana base, by the way. Nice mono green decks, mana base. Villain. Any place. You can have double green with Garden and Vestige, it's all okay, yeah. There are ways to get there. Even if it's slightly ugly. Like, Villain is... Not willing to play, so... Let's finish the puzzle more. Oh, Villain is back. I play Urza Saga. I pass. Your move, villain. Villain Mulligan 6. Villain plays Floated Strand. Passes. I draw Grazer. Villain is playing the Blue Zoo. I mean, it could be Blue Zoo, it could be Gorayo. Unless you literally played against them. I could go Gardens Grazer, put Second Saga into play. Why is Flood pronounced Flood and not Flood as in Saloon? It's because English is random. Not a single English word is pronounced phonetically, so which is all random. Kept on top. That's an insane line. <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> The construct doesn't matter, so I'll copy now. <clears throat> Play another garden. Be open to fetch map for bounce land. Able to copy again if I want to. Need to spend blue and white. Villain is going to discard Grizzlebrand, Atraxa, Untap, Gorayos, both. Ephemerate both. Take my Titan, I'll draw a forest and I'll die. I already played out this entire game in my head, so... But yeah, Boros is on about as useful as... Alternatives... Cassie Wolf run would have been, I guess. Black. Alright, so I guess, indeed, Villain will reanimate Atraxa. White. Our plan is luck. I mean, sure. Seems like no Goraya in immediate dignity of my opponent's hands. The Potsies? No, it's Falaji, okay. Falaji gives a plus one plus one counter, always solid. <sighs> my boss. I 
Yeah, Falagio is pretty disappointing often. This got a stained in indulgence. Not a great sign. I guess probably just means that planes is getting in the way. True Vezuva is not good either. What a game that is. Also failed to do anything. This is blank. <clears throat> So I have to hope that my opponent fails to find the reanimation. I mean, reanimation is not necessarily a given. Milson Ratraxa. Blinks Folaccio. That's solid. Mills all for Ratraxa. So, you know, it's just like, I guess we have to fade grief too. Fade grief and Goraya, so that's probably not super likely. Oh, I guess I'm fading. Another prismatic ending though. It slows me down further. They need to copy my amulets. They need to draw Pact Explore. Something. Light blue. Holy snap, my keep did not pay off. On Garayo. Revealed Grief, Solitude, Swarm, Fotsis, Ephemerate. That's a fair punishment for failing to perform a single action in my deck for 5 turns. Well, I block it now, but what comes next? Force of Negation to Did Villain grab Grief? Yeah, they chose Grief. So Villain will have Force of Negation too now, but... I get to keep my amulets, have free amulets. Top deck Titan, I guess. I only top deck Mr. Beast to save me out of this predicament, but Force of Negation will. Prevent Pact from fetching Titan, unfortunately. But yeah, Mr. Beast can do it. Key. He grabs Solitude. He did grab Solitude too, so I think I can't beat that. Uh, because he has Force of Negation. I only have one TOS in my deck. Kind of feeling the effects of that. All right, what if I go Titan into, I don't know. Hope he has no white card. There's no face up extra white card in his. In his, in their hand. So I'll just hope there isn't one. It's the best I can think of. Problems I don't even kill then. Or do I? I think I do. See, I can cobble together 22. 
Get the Valakut question mark right now. That doesn't do anything yet. Okay, if you just kill Titan, then it's over. So I'm happy today, Mr. Streamer, do I? I, yeah, oh no, I had the ending. Wait, there was a white, there was a face of white cards. So yeah, I don't know why villain is posting smiley faces when. We had the win. Could bounce Titan now. Yeah, I could do that, but it doesn't do anything, so I rule that line out as a viable line. Because it doesn't matter. You packed question mark. The Tolera was to work here for a second Titan. Villain had false negation in hand. They have, like. Maybe I could, like, play around. I, I don't. I remember it was a blue card revealed. Other than force. <sighs> I don't think there was a revealed blue card. Don't sell in defense greed. No, no, I don't like it. It's probably like two boss edges. That deck runs so many free spells. Well, so like does defense greed is defense does get defense greed match up well against again split. Does defense greed match up well against free spells? Yes. My answer would be not necessarily it does not match up against their free spells all that well and like it doesn't matter I don't care about solitude I beat solitude most of the time I'll beat subtlety by trimming on packs instead of having defense grid we didn't beat solitude not in this spot no but it was like not an issue you solve with a defense grid you solve it with relic making them not reanimate. Why are we on Boros Garrison against set of battle lines? I'm playing an Elish Norm deck list. I'm not qualified for an apple, so I'm skipping it. There is a an L LMS in Bologna, which could serve as a way to queue there, but I'm not going there. Skipping that. Well, they do have online tournaments that are her secures, yeah. Why don't you just do one ring there? Well, that's what I'm... What else am I doing, bro? Why explore, I meant to make a land drop. Well, I, I need to draw, like, an untapped land. But if I draw Titan, I get to play Titan. That's... If I draw a tap land, I get to keep a tap land in play. I guess if I don't draw it up, I spend the explore, but like the explore is not necessarily as good anymore. Villain's hand seems like a hand that contains prismatic ending. 
They kept going top land, top land. I think that's something that you do with a prismatic ending. Put an amulet, thinking that you'll slow me down. Would I like to attend a Lush Portico? Not necessarily. So basically I explored last turn because I thought that it's not super likely that my double amulet is going to survive and, and that's what I feel felt like I would rather explore than not. Holy shit, villain is putting up some resistance. Polagi Archaeologist, let's go. Nope. Alright, Miss Trigger, you can't win anymore. Game is over. Mr. Beast will save us. I don't think we need much saving this game. Would Relic of Progenitus be better with State at Tap, Exile Target Spell? Yes. What could the range of keeps be? They did absolutely nothing in the deck, operates a lot on two lands. One prismatic ending. Then no lands. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of tricky. Uh, subtlety, Solitude. Ephemerate. Those cards make sense to be in villain's hand. That's why would I kept. I'll solve pretty now. I test your might. Not willing to go for like grazer or something. I'll simply win next turn. How well would Titan perform in Mortal Kombat? Are you ready? Oh, like what are they saying? Test your might. Mortal Kombat. What would my fisting move be in the game? It would be to summon a primeval titan and Tolare West for two more, while Mirror pulling the original and hasting all of them. 
striking for 47 damage with Cassie Wolf runs. I bought out all the grazers, so also have to remember that I couldn't pack for grazer because of the fact that there was no grazer in my deck either. Arthur, come up. Test your might. <sighs> Anyone in the chat testing their might? Test your might, I thought the same. Test your might and like you have a scrap and you're like, yeah, well, does it work? Oh, fine. So I think this card is absolutely busted. Probably not. When substitute synthesizer ATBs, scry 2. Whenever under artifact with mana value 3 or more, ATBs create a OO colorless artifact creature token with this creature. Another. Good with Frogmite and with Fault Monitor. That's pretty cool. I get this force of negation that seems absolutely fine. Although if villain gets Grizzle Brand, that's a bit annoying. And it seems like they do because otherwise they wouldn't. Do that, so that's annoying. I don't know why, but the skip songs don't work today, so maybe they will tomorrow. Can we win at this point? Sure, why not? Find those random cards at the top of their deck. They're likely, you know, will be some cards that are good enough to get there, but let's see. But yeah, I don't know if Elish Lorne actually like does anything much against this deck either. It's it's kind of doesn't matter what you play on five at five mana. So I probably won't play with the white splash. You could also play relic main. That's mostly blank against most villains though, so low interest in that i guess you don't like turn the earth i like turn the earth it's fine too would work in this spot like really i mean graveyard hate just cheap graveyard hate but there's a few hands where i can't turn the earth for not having a tapped green one time where Relic would have been based, but Turn the Earth wasn't. But you know, here we had the flip side where Turn the Earth would have been lame and Turn the Earth would have been just enough and Relic was not enough to stop Grizzlebrand from entering the battlefield. Gonna draw Relic of Progenitus, how useful. Rough, rough. Pretty obscene to, you know, use. Get to use force of negation and ways like this, but thank you, Mr. Maro, for free counter magic.
let's see if this is indeed what they play. Basic forest into amulet. It's a slightly worse opening than what I presented, but still pretty good. Should I cycle explore for playing the one ring? It could be. Because I want to keep Sanctuary in my hand, in my in play rather. Poseidon in hand. Assuming the one ring is gonna draw me Pounce Lance. Or some other ways to accelerate. Well, and instead we'll play another amulet and kill me. No, Cassie Wolfram. Expedition map, okay. Woof. Saved. The, the only place to wait with Poseju next turn, hopefully. A way to ramp, a Boseju, a map, a Titan. They do have a map and they drew bounce the Celestia. Test. So there's a chance I still get bounded. If my opponent gets a top land into more ramp. It would be beneficial to get proficiency in another deck than amulet. Well, I play amulet because I like playing amulet. Grazer, which means 5 mana. Hopefully it's just ring and not... Well, they wouldn't need to do that if they just had ring. Okay, so it's just death. Let's... Sideboard my no cards. Except for Elishnorn, I guess that also works. How do we know they had Mr. Beast? Well, we knew they're gonna have Cassie Titan because they made the Titan summoning move, so... I trusted my opponent to actually have it in their hand as they were performing all the actions that lead up to summoning Primal Titan in this spot. Let's keep this. Elishnon Gardens. Can turn free Elish. There was recently a discussion about Fort Season and its effects on combo decks on the Pioneer Discord server. Some made the point that combo decks profit more for Fort Season than they get hurt by it. Any opinions on that? Like getting hit by Fort Season or Fort Season existing in the format? I. Uh, it's an extremely mildly interesting point to me. What am I thinking about this Norn builds? Well, that's fine. It's kind of it's minor though for the most part. Norn. And I'm kind of leaning on not wanting to bother with the splash. Or I could have won this turn. Yeah, right. Yeah, I could have won. Could have gone for that. Because I could go copy Sanctuary, copy Fetch Grazer, Grazer, Sanctuary, Sanctuary, Explore, get Titan to play. Just bad against Force of Vigor, so with Elish in hand, I guess arguably I am not supposed to do that.
No, it seems like a great way to win the mid on. I mean, kind of, but also... Does it? Because... If you play Titan in the middle, you win, right? It's like actually true for Elishnorn. If you play Elishnorn, you win. But it's it's for the most part true for the Titan too. Maybe it's not true for Titan without... I guess it is not true for Titan without... Amulets involved. So like technically Norn makes it so you can keep Grazer explore Norn. Time for Cultivator Colossus with Elesh Norn. Literally gonna break model for funds. Okay, not so much. I mean, I would say that it's probably more tedious on model once again, like triggering Titans verbally, it's so much easier. Because the main barrier is not understanding the triggers, at least not for me ever, it's just the lag, the input lag on model. My point is also bounce light bounce triggers happen twice, right? They do, yeah, but like does is that like problematic in paper? I don't think it is. Holy shit, Kunit 7, you busted me. Titan. Make some scoop. Beast with Alesh Norn? No, that's not enough. I'm playing with Norn because people are posting results with Norn. I don't like it much. Also... Yeah, when I call it... Uncastable, that was when people played it in list that literally had six sources of white mana. Or seven. I don't remember if it was with Boros Garrison or with Hanwer, but... I think they had literally six sources to cast it, and then that's a bit insulting. Gardens being a white source helps. A tiny bit with the castability. Well, this is the Grazer Explorer hand that I talked about. Let's say I keep... Karus bouncing two lands is great value. It's a bit annoying when you need to just play your lands. What a gamer. Uh, 
Oh, I was thinking today this member sucks and seems mainly scum and murktide play Magus. Maybe Fire Spot could actually be decent for just those decks over this member. Well, every solution, every removal solution has its own tiny issues that struggle one way or another. Because you would like to have some access to. Like, you'd want to have some removal that kills Yogmoth or stops Yogmoth in some way. Idly, you'd like a removal that does something as the Kavu decks, because Kavu is. It would be pretty effective to remove it. But even this member doesn't actually do that all that well, because, like, the issue with Kavu is that it attacks you for five and then it pay for life to deal with it. You. It's like half like not dealing with it. White removal will be barely castable and then it's also doesn't, doesn't work against Magus, which is not played much right now, so could use could just metagame and accept that you lose to Magus because almost no one plays Magus online against me. And like this member is just plainly bad. You know, a solution is to play this member with Road farms. I think this member is great. You play two minimum. In that case, well, we just disagree here. This member is fine without 10 G turn free damage. I don't get it. Like, life loss is really, really. just really bad. So how do I sequence here? I mean, you could also just not play removal, it's really necessary. Let's just go back to ignoring Magus, it's so low that maybe it's just a like, best way now. Not cut sagas, just pro with it. The ability to killing Ragavan on turn 1 is still super relevant. Well, you have tools for that, you have the Grazer, like, you don't need to overcomp like that's overcompensating for the grazer for for Agavan. Gonna have three mana. I don't know what to see what's like the best sequence here. But I can draw another bounce land, vestige. Seems like I kept the shit hand, so just make it so that I cast Grazer, cast Elish next turn. Like, it doesn't seem like they're gonna play Titan next turn with their opening. I always struggle against Merktide. Well, that's because Merktide can be pretty tough at times, but also not really in a way that gets solved by this member necessarily. Yeah, Novo set you up, unfortunate, but I was, I was trying to think of a way to. Hold up Bosseju, but then I couldn't guarantee casting Norn on the next turn. So I just decided to cast Norn and give it my opponent's turn to play. Sadly, you know, I'd have turn free Norn while also cycling, also keeping up Bosseju, but that just wasn't a possible line. Unless my Explorer would have drawn a Bounce Land or a Green Source. That said, now I have a less so it's good. Grove Chamber Ottawara Titan. I can just play Ottawara Titan. Well, the Grove Chamber doesn't make mana with Elish Norm, if you mean for them. So yeah, that explore means they can do anything. Oh, bigger, that's cool.
Hmm. Can Bosedru something? Probably Bosedru a an amulet does something. So yeah, like in this hand, Elashlon was somewhat Brazilian to Fossa Vigor. Vestige is so OP with Norn. Yeah, so OP. I'll kill the amulets. Then even if my opponent Otawaras my Elish Norn, they can't really win. I think. Maybe the Gorea Zek should play Elish Norn in the sideboard for the Gorea's Mirror. I mean, it's a 5 drop, so probably the deck doesn't have enough ability to cast 5 drops. But also, I mean, you could play it against Zoo out of that deck. See, Soul to deck. Yeah, double attracts a trigger. The one ring doesn't give protection. OTJ has a free mana and tomb for silver bullets. What's that card? I haven't seen it, I don't think so. That will fall Haji 3 here. Holy shit, he's finally gonna hit something. I don't know what's the free mana and tomb. How I felt like I can't cast it with this mana base, cast what, Elish Norn? Elish Norn was cast many times today. Seems in fact doable. Ordering question mark. No, ordering was good, chat. Don't don't you worry. You worry too much. It's total mana value for or less, so it's just two mana returning grief, three mana and tomb, five mana fetch and a creature from a graveyard from from your deck. 
Now reap your partner from the grave and form an undead killing wave. What? We have three mana and tomb, but not one that actually works. If you keep Mirror Pool up to protect Elishnorn, they can't win anymore pretty much, can they? Yeah, that's also the case. If I don't keep up Mirror Pool to protect Elishnorn, because my point is DOB on board. <clears throat> As a general thing, that is the case, yes. I mean, a Titan cannot beat an Elishnorn. I love always yes on magic online. I guess if I keep playing the white splash, I just don't play Smember in it. Just an extra curse totem and draw with not being able to kill the Ogma of the creature. I play turn the earth to turn the earth. 